Hello, this is Dave here. Um, I thought I would come on and uh, uh, support Jonathan's channel, which is called uh, Cheap and Cheerful. Uh, he's doing a uh, sub for uh, uh, his 100, I believe, subscriptions or more. He, he has more now, but uh, yeah, he, he always has a good variety of music and everything. So uh, I thought he'd come on here, and yeah, he's got a contest now to uh, post some bands uh, that were famous at one time, and then the individual members uh, went off in their own directions. I kind of thought that might be a hard, uh, uh, you know, topic to uh, talk about. But then once I started thinking about it, uh, I came up with really quite a few, and. Uh, and uh, so anyway, let's get started. Um, here's Genesis, uh, Selling England by the Pound. And I don't have uh, the early one on, uh, I've got it on cassette, but I didn't dig it out, which is Trespass. And also there was even one before that called Beginnings, I believe, something like that. But anyway, the album that I came up with is uh, by Anthony Phillips. This is his anthology. And uh, I think this one, this CD here is now uh, deleted. Although I think there may be a new current uh, two CD set of his, uh, you know, uh, different songs on it, anthologies. Uh, but uh, he has any number of... Uh, records. I've got some of his stuff on cassette. This is a catch at the tables. And this is one of his uh, private parts. Uh, CDs were actually are pretty good. They're very varied in uh, what's on them. This is a really good one here called uh, A Geese and the Ghost. You know if you're going to pick up anything by Anthony Phillips I'd suggest this one here. It's real uh, you know, it's progressive, but it's it's sort of uh, floral or, uh, you know, um, orchestrated sort of, in a way. It's a really good CD, though. Here's one by uh, Roxy Music. This is this might be, I think, their last album. I'm not sure. And I don't have their earlier efforts, which, uh, you know, uh, Brian Eno was on. But Brian Eno was the one I was thinking of whenever I... Uh, thought of posting this and of course Brian Eno has you know a ton of albums uh, this is music for airports which is almost like modern day classical music you know I guess you could describe it as being modern day classical music uh, big hit during the 80s was the police uh, I was really into them back in the 80s, uh, and, and still can still listen to some of their hits. Uh, but uh, you know, Sting went on to do his own thing and got pretty popular by doing his own albums too. And I like how he uh, branched out and started uh, incorporating you know jazzier uh, melodies and everything into his uh, <coughs> records. You know, a little bit of New Orleans is on some of them. This is one I like a lot called uh, The Soul Cages. It's more, uh, mm, uh, golly, uh, subdued. It's not the uh, word or adjective I wanted to describe. Melancholy, I guess is the word I would say. It's kind of melancholy, but uh, I like it nonetheless. Here's one I thought of. This is uh, Public Image Limited. I don't listen to a lot of punk these days, but I do. I do like Public Image. This one because uh, it's kind of got some um, electronics and that type thing in it. A little bit of dub, and the same thing holds true for uh, this album by Joe Wobble. Betrayal. He's the bass player. And uh, this album is pretty much goes along the same lines as that uh, Public Image album. It's kind of electronic, 
and it incorporates a lot of dub and uh, it kind of comes close to you know being a lot also along the lines of say a uh, what I can album is so uh, yeah I think I find it it's, uh, I'd recommend it it's worth picking up then we have uh, the band which this is actually an excellent album album cover by Bob Dylan music from Big Pink and of course one of their actually a lot of the, the band's members went on to release solo albums uh, Levon Helm put out some and I think Rick Danko did as well but uh, this is their one of their leaders or I guess they I guess he was con considered their leaders Robbie Robertson this is a uh, Storyville and uh, of course he has you know a lot of different individual albums as well and I think he may have done a soundtrack or two but uh, yeah this is a well-made album by uh, Robbie Robertson so anyway like I said I've been enjoying your channel and uh, hope you continue to do more of your record finds and uh, I just wanted to submit my little uh, entry into your contest and uh, we'll talk to you later.